Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today we're going to make some acrylic doodle flowers. So you're just going to need some paint brushes. I'm going to use some small flat paint brushes here, some paper, and then just whatever paint color you want to use. I'm using acrylic paint here, just coral colors and pinks, light pinks that I think will go well together. But you can do this with any colors. You could like make pretty, um, really colorful little flowers. And I'm just going to take a piece of index card and just practice my petals. Um, these are super simple little flowers and I just recommend that you kind of experiment. Um, a lot of the flowers I got just by loading up the brush and pressing down. Um, so they're really simple and you just like press down in five areas and or four areas how many pet whatever kind of petals you want and it works out really really well but you can practice just on a piece of scratch paper and that works out really really well um, I like my colors a little bit mixed too and then um, I'm just gonna decide to go for it in a second but with the flat or round brushes you can really just press down and see it's making that beautiful petal so this is very very simple I think it's a lot of experimentation <laughs> and then you can kind of just make irregular kind of looking petals um, as many as you want I did a lot of three petals some four petals five petals and then kind of like a little daisy um one and then I also did some messy little circles um, because you can make those easily into roses so really fun I like variations of color but like I said you can make these whatever color you want um, this time I did this color but I'm gonna do blue or cool colors next time too so these are really fun you can add them into all your art projects um, I have an idea of an art journal page that I want to create with them but they're so fun and super super easy you'll also need sharpies too for this process so get a large sharpie and a thin sharpie if you have it if not any permanent black pen will work well but you just want them to be two different sizes it's the most important you want a thick line and a thin line because as I said they're doodle flowers so I'm going to make the centers of my little flowers first and then I take this is a, a sharpie gel pen I think and then I'm going to go around with it and then go around with a thick sharpie and I'm just tracing around it. Um, I am should have been holding the pin back <laughs> so that um, the lines are really floppy and sloppy. That's what you want. You want things not so clean. So you can start either with the thin pin or the thick Sharpie. Um, I kind of went over both but the main thing is you want more than one line that's the important part too and I kind of liked it when I did the thin line first and then went in with the thicker line and here I'm going to hold my pen at the very edge and I'm going to go in and just make create some doodles and the more loose I got those are the ones that I really liked where the line is really sloppy it doesn't even follow the paint but it's so much fun and they're doodly and you can definitely do this with your kids and they'll love them and the flowers will turn out very very well and they're fun and they're whimsical so I love it and you can do this on whatever kind of paper you want I've done it on white paper before and that works out really well and yeah it's a really fun idea <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to cut around some of the flowers and you can cut out as much or as little as you want. Some of them I leaved in squares, which you'll see, and I'm just going to cut them out later. But um, I just cut a few out for you on camera and then I'm going to sit down and doodle on the rest of them. <laughs> but it made quite a bit of flowers with just a little bit of work. So that's always fun. So we're just going to keep cutting things out I wanted you to see me cut them out but of course I wasn't where I should be <laughs> so here we go I'm gonna and I really love that big one that I haven't cut out yet that's so pretty and I really love um, the ones that just have the thin sharpie on them um, but you can do whatever you like the thick ones are nice too and you can even write add like white gel pen I think that, that would really make things pop too, or even a metallic gel pen. I love metallics. I just didn't get a chance to try that out. But this was such a fun project and I needed it. So it's a great collage fodder, little doodle flowers um, that you can make. So it's a really fun project. I'm showing you a little bit slowly <laughs> how they look. So they're, they're super fun. 
and I can't wait to use them. So I'm just going to cut the rest of them in squares. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know if you make these flowers. You can tag me on Instagram. Um, I'd love to see the beautiful flowers that you create. And I will see you guys next week. So I'm just going to keep cutting away and um, just, yeah, playing. I had a really good time <laughs> making these. So, oh yeah, so I do add a little bit of white paint pen um, with the Posca paint pens. I forgot that I did that. I think these are about to go dead, these Posca, and I really need to order some more. <laughs> I keep telling myself that I need to put in an order. And I'm just going to cut around it, but I definitely had fun. It was hard, you know, not to keep making these flowers. <laughs> Because they were so much fun. And that's the big one. I love that one. That one's my favorite. I'm going to save it for a really special project. I don't know which one yet. But they're really fun. And it's so nice. Like I love buying stuff. But it's always when you can make it yourself. But I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.